Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Hey, you guys. Thanks for stopping by my channel. It's Bethany here with Bethany Lee Company. I truly and hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new here, welcome. Hey. Hey, girl. And if not, I truly appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this video. All right, you guys. So today, um, I plan on working on some shirts today and showing you guys maybe a design or two. Um, the reason why I haven't been doing any uh, heat press shirt videos is mainly because I was so aggravated with working with the Cricut Easy Press because you got to put so much pressure down and, you know, with certain things like puff vinyl, you're not able to um, put down enough pressure for it to even ex evenly distribute the heat. So sometimes, you know, part of it... Um, like I have a shirt that I was doing, part of it was good and puffed perfectly and then the other half was um, wrinkly looking and I just got really irritated because I really, really do want to do some puff vinyl on puff vinyl on some shirts. So I went ahead um, and ordered the heat press and I believe this is what this is because I don't know, it's supposed to come tomorrow, but I guess it came today. So I was coming home from work and I seen it by the door and I was like, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. So yes, yeah, so we're going to unbox that heat press. Hopefully it's the heat press. Hopefully it's not another surprise. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up that heat press and clear out some space, move this somewhere else. And we're going to go ahead and plug up our Cricut machine. That's what we're about to do now. Let's get into it. guys oh my goodness I'm so excited this is definitely the heat press um, first thing I see in here is a 3xl I guess I was like y'all get free off me a 3xl t-shirt uh, we have the it says 8 in 1 heat press machine user manual too cute let's see what I want to pull out first what we got here Okay, I believe this is the, yeah, these are the plate presses, the attachments that you can do like plates, heat press, like um, vinyl and things on a plate or a sublimation or something. And this goes with that as well, maybe, I think, but this kind of looks like the, the cap, the one that's for the hats attachment part of that. Um, yep, and this is the other piece to that. So it like, you know, goes like this when you attach it and you want to, you know, put something on a hat. Yeah. So I'm going to take all that out the plastic in just a second. But right now I'm just showing you guys all of what's um, unboxing. So right here we have, I think this is one of the cup presses. Yes. Or if you want to do tumblers, sublimation, um, what else we got in here? Okay. This looks like the, um, oh yeah, like the screen, tells you the temperature and the time, and then what else we have in here, and then the nozzle, oh yeah, they have this attached, so this is another uh, attachment which is the part of the tumbler and the cup and the mug um, attachment press so 
like that. But I also think that's like the actual knob. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. My goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put this on the floor, you guys. Let's see what it's talking about. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah. Ooh, big mama. to see what and how i'm supposed to put this together um but yes y'all i'm super excited um i don't even know how to work this i know what oh yeah oh and it has a drawer that comes out and this swings over that's one of one of the another reason why i got it is because of that so i need to pull this out some so i'm gonna be you know using a drawer pulling it over yep so super excited it's i mean it's a decent size um for the sizes that i'm going to be doing so that's one thing but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff together and i'm gonna go ahead and also um take everything out of the plastic for you guys to actually get a um glimpse of i'm also gonna put the link in the in the description of um for this particular heat press i ordered it off of amazon of course it was the eight eight and one heat and uh heat press i believe it was a 12 by 15. so um yeah that's the one i ordered um it was a decent price for it you know for it to come with all these attach attachments so it's way better than you know the cricut easy press to, in my opinion it's way better because you have different attachments you have the right pressure that you need you can change the pressure on it you can you know time the heat and everything so i'm super super excited so let's go ahead and um, take this stuff out of the plastic and i'm gonna show you guys All right, you guys so that is done i finally um, i didn't um unwrap this one it's because i don't plan on really using this anytime soon so i'm gonna keep it in the package just you know so no dust or anything will get to it i'm gonna probably put these back in the packages as well they come in different sizes so uh this is the biggest one i'm not sure just yet what size this is but i will read the manual um you know to get an idea because i was thinking like dang i could do some you know some tumblers or some cups and it'd be super super cute i'm looking forward to that but right now we're going to get into these shirts and a few yes and then this one and then they have this one and this one this is cute because it's so little and then of course they have this this is like the one that goes on the hat attachment so that's that um, I'm going to go ahead and read the manual and start putting this together. So that's what we're about to do now. Um, and then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and press the shirt. I'm going to, um, you know, you know, do a little test on it or whatnot, see how it does. Um, and uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I went ahead and started putting the attachments back inside the bags or at least trying to so I could put them inside the box. I wanted to put them back in the box because I didn't want them to get dusty or get damaged or anything, especially the parts I won't be using. And then I went ahead and checked out the manual to see how I needed to attach the timer onto the heat press. All right, you guys, so it's finally set up. Um, I just plugged it up and I just uh, put the attachment on here. So pretty much, it's pretty simple <laughs> assembly. You know, since all of this is already put together, you just have to attach your timer. Um, this the little black piece. It's just a little um, latch on the side. You just slide it down on there. And then right here, 
is the attachment. I'm gonna loosen it up to take it off. I know y'all probably couldn't tell with this video sped up, but um. So right here is is attachment. Okay, so right here is the attachment. And it goes into this little um, hole right here. So say if I wanted, instead of using this, and I wanted to use the um, one of the other attachments, I would just get there. Each of them has like a little hose like this, and you'll just attach it in here. But since I'm just using the heat press at the moment, this is what I'm doing. I'm just pushing it in there into the timer, and then screwing it up. So now the heat press is, Connect it to the timer and everything and the power and everything. So I've already plugged it up. I'm going to go ahead and get it turned on. <clears throat> Let's see. I didn't get, oh, there's a button on the side. I assumed that that would be it. Uh oh, y'all. Let me show y'all what it's looking like. All right, you guys. So right here we have the power on and off button. So I'm going to turn it on. And then as you can see, it pops up. It says 30, I think this is the time, and this is the heat. So it's up to 113 right now, and um, this is the 30 seconds. It's on Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go over, look at the instructions to see how do we change the setting and time. Let's see. So it says temperature setting, press set key. The upper display frame shows SP, lower display frame shows temperature valves. Then enter the temperature setting option, press up or down to increase or decrease the temperature. Okay, so press set. I press set and it says, um, it shows SP. So it just timed out. So I'm gonna press set again. And then the time down here is blinking. So I can just, you know, set it to however many, um, temperature I want and then that's what it's going to go to so if you hit it again it's going to say s um whatever that is <laughs> or yeah s and then you hit it twice and then now you have the seconds so it's popping up 30 seconds just timed out again so I'm hit it twice and it's showing the time and let's see if I hit it one more time it's showing c slash f so it just says Fahrenheit or Celsius Celsius or Fahrenheit um so you can choose between the two, and that's pretty much it. It's just that simple. So press set to, you know, do your up or down for your temperature, and then press set again for your time, and press temperature, I mean, set again for if you want Fahrenheit or Celsius. So I'm going to keep it on Fahrenheit, and then um, I'm going to get everything done. So since that's already set and heating up, I'm going to go ahead and get on Cricut Design Space and cut out which design that I want to do and I'm going to show you guys and then after that we're going to go ahead and heat press the shirts all right we'll be back all right you guys so I went ahead and I was testing out the machine uh the heat press on the puff print and I finally found the temperature that I need to do which is two I did 270 for 12 seconds and it came out pretty decent where's my so I did some more tests um this is my test shirt for puff as you can see and this is the one that came out pretty decent i don't know if y'all can tell pretty good um this one came out pretty good too um so this one was without the sheet um cover and protecting it it still got some wrinkling in it as you can see but this one is smooth and it's still puffed up just a little bit just the way i wanted it so um i decided i'm gonna go ahead and do this and i have my uh this is the shirt that i plan on putting this on so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and put it on this shirt so you guys can see all right y'all so i went ahead and pulled up cricut design space and pulled up my design and then here you see me laying down the vinyl on my mat and this was my first time using snap mat which takes a picture of the vinyl and it shows your design and displays it where exactly the Cricut machine is going to cut so this helps me tell if I have enough vinyl on the mat so it'll be enough to where the Cricut machine can cut out my full design all right y'all so that just got off the Cricut machine we're going to go ahead and peel off the excess um my i've learned my lesson before there are some small little pieces on here i'm not sure if you guys can see it or not they're like little small pieces so i'm gonna have to take my time with peeling it off or whatnot i have my 
Cricut thingy <laughs> that I'm going to use to help pick it up, the vinyl up. Um, so I'm going to use this, uh, you know, that I have on here as reference. So I won't uh, peel off the wrong things. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I just uh, pressed my shirt to get all the moisture out of it and, you know, preheat it. So it'll be ready for when I do uh, go ahead and put the vinyl on there. So let's get into it. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to try and be very, very careful. Careful. I'm going to press it down a little bit more. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. It didn't come up. That's good. That's good. So, try my best. Make sure I'm not going too fast. So on these larger pieces, I can just really go a little bit faster. It's bigger and it's, you know, a little bit harder to pick up as well since it's already cut with the Cricut machine. So that looks good. And then there's some little pieces inside of the letters that I'll have to get as well. So it's pretty much easy. You see how it's coming out. Just keep peeling. Just make sure you're not peeling off things that you're not supposed to be and you'll be fine. So y'all, I went ahead and did the puff vinyl because I've been wanting to do puff vinyl for the longest now and I haven't been able to with the Cricut Easy Press that I had. Um, so that was the issue that I was running into because I didn't have, you know, I wasn't putting enough pressure and then it just seemed like it just wasn't, you know, doing what it needed to do and it really got to me. So I was like, that really kind of pushed me to go ahead and get this uh, heat press. So when I seen that it was outside of the house um, and they had dropped it off, y'all, I was like, oh my goodness, this is like my gift for today um, for a hard days of work. Well, let me scoot back so y'all can see for my hard days of work. Hopefully it comes out. I mean, I did the test, but you know, I did the test with the Cricut Easy Press and I thought, you know, hey, it came out good. And then when I did a bigger, you know, a bigger logo or um, design, it did not do as well, which I hate it. Um, but hey, that's what I'm doing right now. You know, I'm going through trying to make sure and see what, you know, testing out everything. Um, see what works, see what don't work. So if maybe, you know, maybe Puff Vinyl is just not my thing. So um, right now I'm just trying to make sure and see if I'm, if it's me or was it the machine. You know what I'm saying? So this is actually pretty, it's, it cut pretty well. It's not even sticking. Uh, this is some good uh, puff vinyl. I get my puff vinyl, well, I get all of my vinyl from, uh, it's called the Vinyl Room. And so they have a lot of shirts. That's what I got my shirts from. They have a lot of variety of shirts. Um, they have comfort colors. Uh, they have different brands. They have sweatshirts, crew necks and all of that all right y'all so i just peeled off all that you know that ex excess now i have to go in and get the smaller pieces you know some are like inside of the letters and some are inside of these stars i need to empty out so that's what i'm about to do uh -uh. that's what i'm going to do now yeah too easy it's really easy and it's just coming out so good oh my goodness yeah i'm hoping and praying that that this this turns out the way that I want to. I'm gonna be so upset if it doesn't. But hey, it's trial and error, so I'm not gonna be you know too too upset. But um, it would really make my day if this comes out right. Now I'm going to go in and get these little pieces that are inside of the letters, and then empty you know the holes in the letters as well.
Okay, I think that's all of the circles. Let me make sure on my picture. Yep, that's it. So now I'm about to go in and take out the A, the R. I think that's all that's left. And y'all, I've been doing some research on cups because I like when I said earlier, like the tumblers, I really am interested in doing. I've seen like people do like the glass cups and stuff, and it's really cute. So I was like, maybe I can do that. I'm not trying to add too much on my plate at this moment, you know, because I'm right now I'm just trying to get all of this together first and then add on different things. So I'm gonna get this, all of this, these shirts and designs established, and then I'm gonna add new, you know, add things little at a time. All right, so we just got finished with that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and then put it on to, you know, place it on my shirt. And I use these. I have, um, what's a couple of them? It's like I have an infant, I have a toddler, and I have youth, and then I have adult. So this goes around the neckline for you to hit, like help you align it and measure it out and see, you know, where the center is. But from the bottom of this to the top, it's three inches. That's usually what people use, you know when they're doing decal uh, or designs on their shirts see how this one this this AUM is three inches from the collar so that's about the side about where when I where I want to do mine so I'm gonna go ahead and do that you guys let's see I'm gonna move this out of the way Ooh, oh forgot I got a slide drawer All right, so let's do this I'm gonna try to measure this thing and it's got these little cotton um, things on there so make sure that it's straight I'm gonna probably press it again right now real quick so it'll be hot okay so that's done y'all hear the beep beep and then I just press the down button to let that alarm then turn that alarm off so now that's pressed I'm gonna pull it out I mean, it's not a good idea to do this right here, but I just want to see without burning myself. Don't do as I do. <laughs> I'm a little dangerous. Yeah, that's about center. Because I would hate for this to come out right and it'd be cricket. So right now I'm just measuring to make sure that it's lined up straight. I usually go by the tag. Yeah, I usually go by with lining it up with the tag as well as using this. Um, Cause it helps. So now that that's aligned straight, I'm gonna take my design off of my mat, peel it on off, just like so. And then I'm going to place it on the shirt. First, I need to make sure the design is even and in the middle so i'm go going by the end of these stars you know to see which the end of each side of the design just to make sure that it is centered i think that's good yeah that's good okay i think that's lined up y'all so I'm going to go ahead and take this off away since that's straightened. And then I'm going to scoop the shirt up. And I'm going to push this down a little bit. And then I'm going to slide that down just a little. Scoop the shirt up some. As y'all can see. Just making sure it's down good. And now I'm gonna get my paper that I had on here. Okay, and I'm gonna slide it on back up in there. Good. All right, y'all. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Lord, please let it be good. Please let it work. Okay, y'all. I'm scared. Okay. <sighs> Nothing to it but to do it. Let's do it. Ah! So 
So yeah, I got it on 270 for 12 seconds. I'm gonna stop it at one second. And this is a hot pull. You're supposed to do it while it's hot. <gasps> Y'all, it is it's coming out cute. First time I've ever did puff and it came out right. Y'all, it's too cute. And it's actually puffed up. I'm in love, y'all. I am in love. So let's show y'all. And it says, in my melanin era. Let me push this in. Y'all, I'm so excited. It's too cute. Oh my goodness. Perfect. So I have another shirt that I'm going to do the same way. Um, I think I'm going to do a white one in black lettering. So that's next. And then we're going to see how that one turns out. Y'all, I'm in love. All right, y'all, so this is how it turned out. Y'all, look at it. It is too cute. It says, in my melanin era. I'm just, y'all, y'all just don't know how excited I am because this is the first time, it came out perfect. This is the first time that I've done puff vinyl and it came out perfect. It wasn't me. It was definitely the heat press, <laughs> okay? Cricket should be ashamed of themselves. But <laughs> yeah, it came out perfect. I'm going to make another one um with in white a white t-shirt with black vinyl so i'm gonna do that off camera so with that being said that concludes our video for today i truly appreciate all the um the love and uh, advice you guys have been giving me um so don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions know about how to make shirts how to make um you know designs on Cricut's design space if you have questions about the heat press or anything where i get my shirts from where i get my vinyls from anything just let me know in the comments down below and i will definitely respond to you guys but again thank you so much for stopping by y'all please come back and i hope you guys enjoy